Hello everyone. In this video lecture, I would like to share some more examples of finding first order partial derivative of function of two variables and function of three variables. I'll start with example number one, wherein the function of two variable is equals to x square e to the power y by x. Here, uh, first I will find what is partial differentiation of f with respect to x which is equals to, now see here, here x is in x square and x is e to the power y by x. So I have a two uh, product of a function, two functions. So product rule will come up over here. So first you find the derivative of x square and e to the power y by x constant plus now you keep x square constant and find the partial derivative of e to the power y by x. So here I have declared that what I am going to do first Differentiation of x square is 2x e to the power y by x constant x square. Now e to the power y by x means e to the power any function is e to the power same function and then further differentiation. So differentiation partially I have to perform of this. What is the power here? y by x. So y upon x. Now you see here the first term is I am noting down as it is x square e to the power y by x. Now differentiation of 1 by x is to be done. y being a constant let it be and 1 by x derivative is minus 1 upon x square. Now see here x square x square will get cancelled and we left with 2x e to the power y by x. Here minus sign so I'll keep minus sign in the front. There is a y and there is a e to the power y by x. Now if you want to write by taking out x e to the power y by x common, it will be e to the power y by x common minus 2x minus y. So that is my first partial derivative with respect to x. Now when you want to find out with respect to y, you have seen that this is partial differentiation with respect to y. Now I would like to see the function again. Here you are observing that is x square e to the power y. So y is only present in the power of e. So let's see what to do. Here x square is constant. Here x square is constant. Partial differentiation of e to the power y by x. x square constant. Partial differentiation of e to the power y by x is e to the power y by x. Then further I have to do partial differentiation by chain rule of y by x. Now here I will get uh, differentiation of y because 1 by x is constant. You have to treat it like that. For example if you differentiate uh, for if you are having uh, x upon 10 then you write down 1 by 10 constant. So here differentiation of y is 1. While doing partial differentiation only one point is to be taken care that the other variable is treated as constant. So very carefully if you take care, you will find the answer correctly. Now let's see some more example. So I am taking another example, example number 2. In example number 2, I will take fxy equals to tan inverse of x by y. Now see here, here is a tan inverse formula. So first let us find what is del f by del x. Del f by del x here it is one function which is tan inverse and then we see the x and y variable. So first we will recall the derivative of tan inverse of something. Tan inverse formula is 1 upon 1 plus square of that expression. So here x square upon y square into partial differentiation with respect to x of this x by y. Now here in this expression, I, I, if I add, take LCM, I will get, when you take LCM here, you get y square plus x square. This y square will go to the numerator after simplification. Now when we perform derivative with respect to x, x is in the numerator and that is power formula y by 1 by y constant and derivative of x is 1. So you can see here y and y will get cancelled. I will left with y upon y square plus x square or x square plus y square. 
Similarly, let's see what happens when we are differentiating with respect to y. Since the first procedure is exactly same, tan inverse again coming up. So tan inverse formula is 1 upon 1 plus that if it is x, it is x square. So if it is x by y, it is x square by y square, right? And then partial differentiation of with respect to y of x by y. Now again, we have the same uh, simplification. After taking LCM, you will get y square plus x square. This y square go to the numerator. Now here x is constant and differentiation of 1 by y is minus 1 by y square. So here y square, y square will get cancelled and then be left with minus sign. Here x is in the numerator divided by y square plus x square. Now whether you write y square plus x square or x square plus y square in the denominator, it hardly matters. Let's see one more example. Example number 3. In example number 3, I have taken the function of 3 variable. So I will take function of 3 variable here. In example number 3. In example 3, I have a function which is f x y z which is equals to x square plus y square plus z square to the power minus 1 by 2. Now you can see that here I am facing that expression. So first let's see what to do. I want to find out first order partial derivative with respect to the independent variable. So there are three independent variables. One by one, when we find out, first I will pick the x here. So del f by del x. Now when I see this expression here, x square plus y square plus z square is. So first I have to find the power formula because any expression t to the power, if I say it is u or t, it's u to the power minus 1 by 2. So what is u to the power minus 1 by 2? Minus 1 by 2 u if it is u, if you put it u here, is minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1. And then further differentiation of that expression. But this, since I am performing partial differentiation with respect to x, so I have to find out what is del by del x of this expression x square plus y square plus z square. And you know that x square plus y square plus z square is minus 1 by 2. x square plus y square plus z square minus 3 by 2. And derivative of x square is 2x. This 2 and 2 will get cancelled. And you left with minus x times x square plus y square plus z square to the power minus 3 by 2. I want you to do the other two yourself. Why? Because it is so symmetric. Whatever we have done for uh, x square, the same you will do for y. And when you do for y, it is 2y. When you do for z, it is 2z. So I want these two parts you can do because it is exactly the same. Now let's see some one more example. Here I take example number 4. Example number 4, I will pick again f of xy. Uh, I'll take this example I wanted to share with you. This is xy, x to the power y plus y to the power x. Now first I want to find out partial differentiation with respect to x. You have to be very careful. Let us re remember two formula. When I am having d to the power dt, t to the power uh, n, the answer is n into t to the power n minus n minus 1. And when I am having d by dt of a to the power t, what is a to the power t? It is a to the power t log of a. a is constant here, a is constant. Now let's see. When I am having here partial differentiation with respect to x. So x is variable and y is constant. y is constant means here for example t here x is a variable and n is a constant. So here y is a constant. So what is variable to the power constant? x to the power n formula, you can say t to the power n formula will turn up. So I write down y x to the power y minus 1 because here y is constant. Next plus. Now see here y is in the base and it is constant and x is a variable. So this formula will come. 
when I have a base as a constant like we used to remember the formula in terms of a to the power x or a to the power anything so a to the power if t is a formula and t is a variable you are differentiating with respect to t so what we do we write on a to the power t same exponent log of a so here since y is constant so my answer will be y to the power x log of y is it clear similarly when we will form the derivative of f with respect to y what will be the answer now see very carefully here y is variable and x is constant now I'll go back to the formula here my x is a constant so this second formula will come this formula here constant to the power variable this constant to the power t is a to the power t log of that constant a so here x is constant so i'll apply the same formula in a constant to the power variable is constant to the power the same variable log of the constant what is constant here x plus now see here since y is variable and x is constant like x to the power n or you can say t to the power n n formula here power is n so my formula is power here i write down just a minute here i write down power means x y to the power minus one x minus one so this is to be taken very carefully because sometimes this question we don't take if don't take care so we may get a wrong answer so be careful in that one let's take the one more example last example example number five Example number 5. Here I will take this one. Uh, yes, I'll take here f of x, y, z equals to e to the power x by y plus e to the power z by y. Now see one by one. First I want to find out what is partial differentiation of f with respect to x. Now see very carefully. Here it, x is present in the first term only. So what is partial differentiation? So this the, it will give me the value. So e to the power anything is e to the power same thing. Then you perform partial differentiation of x by y. This is 0 because there is no x present over here. And the answer will be after after doing the partial differentiation of x by y it is 1 upon y so I got e to the power and derivative of x similarly when you want to find out what is partial differentiation with respect to y so y is in both the term it is addition so first e to the power x to the power y is x to the power y and then partial differentiation with respect to y of x by y plus e to the power z by y is e to the power z by y then further differentiation of z by y and we get we get here e to the power x by y and y is a variable na? so 1 by y so it will be x is constant derivative will be minus 1 by y square here y is again in the denominator so i get z minus 1 by y square so after simplification you can find out this is minus minus uh, 1 by y square you can take it out common e to the power no e to the power will not be there so e to the power x by y into x and it is plus z times e to the power z by y so that will be the this is one that will be the partial differentiation with respect to y now the last one is partial differentiation of this function with respect to z. Now if you see where is a z. z is present in last term. That is first term will be constant. So I will get here I will get 0 because there is no z. Then partial differentiation of e to the power z by x is e to the power z by x z by x it is z by y then partial differentiation of with respect to z of z by y and that is equals to e to the power z by y into 1 by y because z is 1 here so this is the answer i hope you have understood the examples thank you